Hello and welcome everyone to the last game of this series against Switzerland versus uh, Mexico. Today with me is Dome. Hey! And Roger, but he's not here already. He takes. He is. What he? Coffee? I think he went for a coffee. He went for a coffee. Okay, yeah. He will come. Maybe later. <laughs> How are you yeah, today, it's a typical Roger. Yeah. I'm fine. Slightly tired from yesterday. Rafi and I discussed this game for quite some time. So I'm slightly tired, but that's fine. Because this is the last game of the series, so it's a good end. Yeah, and you have uh, now five days to relax and rest at work, right? Well, probably not really, <laughs> because I think the first games will be during the week, but we'll see. But uh, shall we start with the lists? Yeah, sure. Would you like to start with... Which one do you want to start I with? I start with Mexico, with Carlos' list. We have, on the left side, uh, Boba Fett with Fearless, Autoblast, Proximity Mines, False Transponder Codes, Hull Upgrade, Shield Upgrade, Slave 1 and BT1. So Boba will gonna uh, push some crits through. And with Boba is Fen Rao with Fearless. It's a, it's a very interesting variation of the, the old Fen Rao plus Boba list. Yeah. It's actually one of, I think, the Dutch lists. When I was in Utrecht for the Dutch Championships, there was a lot of Boba Fen. And uh, if you know how to do it, it's a good list. If you don't, uh, Fen is probably going to implode very fast. So... Very skill reliant, this list. Yeah, yeah, hard to play. You need some balls to play it for sure. <laughs> Hi, Roger. <laughs> Hi, Roger. <laughs> yeah, you I'm really back. need to. I'm I mean, I, I played it myself in Milton Keynes, and the first three rounds, my, my red dice were very cold. And then this list just sucks. Yeah. yeah. If you can't push damage through, you're going to lose because Fen Rao dies every time. He just dies. That's just the way Fen Rao goes. But really if you can't do damage you survive before, everything. <laughs> I just know him as like you can't kill that thing. Range one, range two, range three, whatever. Just Rosie waits. <laughs> yeah, that that's the problem. Throw the waits, huh? Not everybody can roll like Martin, so <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see how Carlos is going to approach Lex list, because Lex is using his old list. With four tie interceptors, um, all with disciplines. One of them is Nash, Windrider, plus fifth brother with passive sensors, Lex. Think of the passive sensors, <laughs> read my mind, plus some homing missiles. So um, I think this is not Lex's favorite matchup, but it's an okay matchup. I do think it is his favorite matchup, to be honest. Lex, he wants it. Yeah, match. I mean, there's like if. It's super hard to kill something for this like fire spray list. And if you kill, if you can kill something, you need to check if you don't get like five fully modded shots into your fire spray if you do it. So the, the funny thing with Lex is he's always like, yeah, this is my favorite matchup. And then he starts practicing it. And with every time he practices it, he thinks it's worse. Yeah, but don't worry. As soon as he gets to the, like a real match against the real yeah. opponent, he's back in his mood and just finishes it. <laughs> He's the master of understatement in that regard. Yeah. But I think uh, we're looking forward to a nice little game here. Yeah. Which could get very, very interesting. I hope it's less dicey than some of the other matches. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I mean, we need this fifth win. Mexico does need it as well, but we really need some points on our conto yeah. because... This group is so close. Everybody's beating each other, so in the end, these tiebreakers will matter. Yeah. So every win is something that we have and we need. Say something Swiss. <laughs> or what they want to. The last time Fabian was talking Swiss German, people thought we were Swedish. Yeah. Not today. <laughs> We can use the old one, Huchi Kastli. Yeah. Nobody can pronounce that. It's weird. I think it sounds more Dutch than than Swedish, I would say. Huchi Kastli probably does because of all the 
Yeah, they have the rough CH sounds as well as we do. Like, mm -hmm. the super rough. It uh, depends on where you're from, from the Netherlands, of course. But some of them do have, like, real strong CH accents. It feels very familiar when you yeah, hear it. Actually it actually does. When we were in Utrecht, sometimes when people were speaking Dutch at the next table, I was, like, turning my head and thinking, yes, there's another Swiss guy here. And Yeah, I can kind of understand it, mm -hmm. but just kind of. Yeah, I, I think I get the meaning, but not the real words, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny, it's very... Also, when you read it, it feels very, very close. Um, I like the, the fifth brother, uh, the passive sensor, George. It's really big today. Oh. I know that Lex has, um, like, <laughs> posted on his table as well, with big passive sensors written on it, so yeah. that should help. But he normally zooms everything up, also the dials, so I guess his eyes just getting worse over the years. <laughs> That's because he's sitting in the cellar with bad lighting and bad internet connection. No, well, no. Internet that internet good. connection has been resolved. Good now he has a cable. Mm -hmm. He's no longer the master of disconnect. Yeah. Yep. That's what I learned playing a lot with Lex. Never let him host the room. <laughs> um, today he is hosting the room. So. <laughs> yeah, but now we have the cable, so that's yeah. a, it's a cable room, not that unsafe wireless room. Don't it's like the wireless today room. for for this internet. What, what do you, you mean, think? A storm of... is coming. A hard a storm is coming, so maybe <laughs> something. It's like suddenly gone. We know why. But what do you think <laughs> about the start here? I actually like the way Lex is flying. Yeah, he's keeping Fifth Brother back, threatening yep. Fenrao. And Fenrao doesn't like crits, so this yeah. is something that Fenrao doesn't want to... Yeah, I guess that's his main plan, to um, like pressure the, the Fen away with the homing missiles, because yeah, the homing missiles is like the super anti-ace tool. Mm. So... And if with sensors, it's easy, easier to get them off. Yeah, massively. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, Boba looks like he's probably going to kind of joust the other four interceptors here. Joust into a prox mine. I mean, this is this comes down to player skill, and we've seen some strange things in this series. If if you think about Fabian's game, where the ace is pretty much jousted his list. I mean, Boba, he can't joust there. Like, he just can't. He's he he should us. I mean, we've seen Benthic two tubes yesterday, never standing still when we expected him to, and then moving when we thought he would not. So, yeah, I uh, wonder what he's doing now. I, I'm also wondering if he practiced the matchup a lot because it's very weird to play against that list, and you really need some practice to uh, don't forget anything that's going on with that interceptor list, even if it looks kind of kind of easy going. That discipline can catch you off guard easily. Yeah, easily. we saw that in the, the second series against the Netherlands. The Netherlands player actually never really... He played once against the Windriders and then played against Lex and he actually set his Darth Vader in front of the Interceptors, yeah, yeah. killed one of the oh, Interceptors and the return fire killed Vader. Yeah, yeah, that I mean, the kill there was just like... If you kill one of my interceptors, your waiter is gone. All right, you killed an interceptor by waiter. Yeah, but that's it's the same for Boba here. I mean, if Boba is going to joust and tries to kill one of the interceptors, we will see half points Boba at least. But I, I, I still think Boba is an interesting spot. He still could go like super fast next turn and go close to the board edge. Makes him harder for the interceptors to... To catch Make him a there. Three, a three hard. <laughs> and well, what if, you, if you like really, really go for that um, that move, but what if he just turns in? Yeah, and then oh. proxy mine. At least Boba maybe. is <laughs> so unpredictable due to his boost. The boost changes so much on that base. Oh, yeah, that's why Han's so good. Big base yeah. with boost. Well, we see here is Fen trying to flank the fifth brother. If he can pull it off, very well. If he can't, oh, risky. I mean, he's still in arc, but out of range, I oh, suppose. Range but for next turn, it could get a little dangerous. He has to come into range one. 
happened, bro. In the chat, Schweizerdeutsch is great. You guys sound so chill to Germans like me. Well, that pretty much depends on where the Swiss German guy is from because we have like 20 different kinds of Swiss German. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows near to Basel there is the nicest accent. No, no, no. We're not gonna uh, open that can of worms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's go back to the game, guys. Mm -hmm. Everything. <laughs> I mean, we can all agree we're not doing this in Seisler Deutsch, so no Freiburg kind of sweet Swiss German because nobody understands that. Yeah. Do that. I, I really will we see a Boba Chaust here. A Boba Chaos to fly over the, the swarm to prox mine them? That is a very ballsy move. Yep. I mean, if he survives it, it's great. But if he doesn't, then he the game is pretty much over. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an anticlimactic end to the series. Yeah. We want the nail biter game here, guys. Sorry? Make Lex sweat for his points. Yeah, I really, I really want to see what's going on next turn. This next turn could be the big one with a lot of red dice, a lot of pew pew. Or for Lex, it's pretty easy. He can just like bank in or go for the two straight, keeping his options there and having a lot of arcs on wherever Booba is going. But if you go too straight, and let's say Boba does like three bank boost, what are you going to do? If you go for the two straight, I mean, I would probably go for the two straight, roll one of them to the outside to kind of block Boba. Roll green and blue. You could he try that. You could like split up your arcs to get some shots on Boba. I mean, Boba has Fearless. He could gamble on trying to one-shot one of the Interceptors, but that's like, that's a big gamble. Yeah, and he can still shoot. Like, yes. Lex wants to roll and take focus, so if he rolls, he's probably there without a focus. So it's no. easier to Lex will take the focus and then don't stress his ships, because when maybe the yellow or something will die, he can take the target lock and he's double modified. If the rest the one that gets killed because this one can't do the actions anyway, so yeah, the only stressed one, yeah. But <laughs> well, would you try to to go for the all-in move and go with the free bank with the interceptors or the four straight, just to block the boba from coming in? But I mean, three bank. What if you go straight? So yeah, that's the yeah. That's the big or just too hard into the asteroid field, or one hard and boost. I, I think you want to be on range two at Boba at least, but it's hard for with the boost from Boba, yeah. But yeah, yeah, predicting Boba is always hard. Yeah, the, the, well, at least he's got this uh, the slave one title where you have to kind of decide on your maneuver where you have to play X Wing. Um, that <laughs> makes life a little easier. Yeah, I was actually, I was expecting he had the slave title, but then I saw the list and saw there is no slave title, so that makes it... Uh... It's the slave title, it's not that the slave one title, it's the other. Oh it's yeah, the yeah, it's the... One slave yeah, title. Slave one, slave two, right? Yeah. Or what's the title thing? So he took he slave two, yeah. one with the, the maneuver thingy. Ah, there we go. It is the two, two straight. Three. Two straight, focus. I think it's right. a good choice. Focus. Conservative choice, keeping all the... I already see that rebank with the Boba. Uh, I Look mean... You see that rebank looks. Oh, and the free bank would be... Awesome. It would be really good. I mean, bank boost, yeah. all of them in range one. You have fearless... If you kill Nash this turn, if you rebank boost, if you kill Nash this turn, there's nothing going to happen to you at all. Oh, he we'll did. Bank. Free bank. Range one to yellow, and range two to blue and to green, I think. Yeah, but this is one of the moments where you have to boost in. Yeah, to get the rerolls. And don't forget, um, Boba has the 
the droid, the anti-stress droid, the BT-1. So when he shoots at something that is stressed, Boba hurts like a mother trucker here. Yeah. Because he gets out the crits. Is, does he boost straight? I guess he does boost straight. Yeah, I think I would boost straight because it gets you into range one. You get all your lovely rerolls. Yeah. Yellow one shoot. I mean, if he goes left, he can he can shoot yellow, and the proxy mine next turn looks quite nice. But he has to do the one or two hard next turn, makes him a little bit more predictable. But the interceptors can't really capitalize on that because there's a proxy mine in front of them, right? Well, he, Lex could go for the two hard to the side, to the left. That's still an option. And go over the gas cloud, say, don't care. Even maybe the free hard to, to get away from the prox mines. Yeah, he could do that one. But then Boba is in a good position after that. Indeed, indeed. Still contemplating his boost. Yeah. I can understand. This this is the moment which could make the game. I think I would go left, to be honest. Not sure. Not sure. I do the straight. straight I, I'm not sure if the blue one, uh, the left one takes you out of the blue arc. But I think it does. Goes for the straight. Booth. Yellow I is mean, out of arc. The huh? is still very lovely because you, he's hurting the interceptors towards the middle field where Fen is actually waiting. Yeah, and if Fen, Fen gets into range one of the interceptors, he has a field play. Yeah, but he's probably going to boost range one of that Inquisitor. Yeah, yeah. he has to yeah. now. Otherwise, the next it's turn, we hold. Like... <laughs> now, first shots. First shots, Fen Rao. Can, can one shot. Yeah, that's that's the lovely thing about Fen Rao. He either one shots or he flops. Yeah. Yes, there's nothing in between with Fen Rao. <laughs> I think he's safe there. Probably going to do one or two damages on that inquiry and probably not going to take anything in return. Uh, don't forget the homing. He can't. He can't use it. Yeah, now he's he's too close. But uh, next turn. And that's five hits. He goes full, fearless. Full power. Uh, Fearless. That's a rough start for fifth brother. And <laughs> you spend the two forces and you go. Yeah, you probably do because otherwise you're dead. And the crit. He could actually, he could actually let himself go down, still shoot, and maybe green. If green and blue are in range of him, he they can roll in front of the in front of the boba and get the target lock. He could do that. He could do that. But do you want to sacrifice Fifth Brother in the first engagement here? Or do you no. want to cling on? It's no. a good question. I mean, you get three fully modded shots on Boba. Yes, you do. But like the Fifth Brother is your best like tool against Fen Rao. Yeah. I don't think that Nash and the Interceptors are able to beat Fen Rao on themselves. Fen Rao is going to rip them apart. Mm, it's uh, it's still four ships around, and Boba will take a lot of pain if he does it. So he could consider it, but I don't think he's going to do it. I think I wouldn't be. <sighs> but I mean, he still takes hit, hit, crit, and can can go down. Fair enough. Yeah. And if he at least keeps the force, he could use his ability on he's Fen spent. without a focus if it works. But he's, he's he spends the force, takes. The crit and the crit is a wounded pilot. Well, that could have been worse, to be honest. Yes. But that was a painful shot there. Very painful shot there. Yeah, that, that was a, a Fen Rao who hit like a sledgehammer. And Boba, range one into the green. So four dice, fearless rerolls, probably four hits. Well, oh, that, that was, was a hit. hit. Yeah. So and we have two for the Boba rerolls. Yeah. And fearless will take four, right? 
34 час по... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you should have given us that one, right? You could have. You could, could, but you don't have to. Yeah, maybe you don't want, want to kill one. And not right. green takes a crit. And the crit is Hullbridge. Well, that's a lovely thing on a <laughs> interceptor. <laughs> Yeah, but probably the right choice here, not killing that interceptor. Sure, yeah. you're, you're getting caught back, but I mean, it could be worse. What shooting he against got what? Big brother down. That's the green shot, I think. Yes, I think as well. Nothing. That was nothing. Ugh. So blue. Range two. Range two. Three dice with a focus. And yeah, three hits. Yeah. There we go. At least one. <laughs> That's the first one. Not the first. Oh. Yeah, you have to roll um, both. Yeah. Yes. And three hits going through. Yeah. Why did we you have to re roll both of them? Sorry? Uh, why did he reroll both of them? Um, well, why wouldn't you? He has two ships in range one of Boba. Yeah. But why did he reroll the evade? Oh, wasn't that a roll? No, that, no, that was not a roll. He was playing. <laughs> oh, all right. I was Sorry, confused I was, I was as well. Confused. <laughs> and here we forgot the passive sensor. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it's still oh. inactive. But yeah. Did he it take crit? the turret? He had and, and used it for a blank to blank. I see. And that's that's um, nothing into fan. Yeah. And Nav here, range three into Boba. Yeah, that's three against three. That's probably not doing well. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> that the that's red five. ones are hot. Uh, yeah, well, we will see some Boba rerolls. <laughs> Can you? Yeah, he can reroll all, all, of, them. all of them. Nice. And get one. The Boba green the dice gone. are no. quite uh, fluffy today, huh? Yeah. Has ah, probably yeah. taken a little more damage than he should. Yeah, I guess he also made a little bit more than he should, so it's good. So uh, we didn't get the direct hit on. Um, Fifth Our one. lovely fifth brother, which is a good start. Uh, fifth brother gets one force back. As usual, Lex is probably going to recognize once he has moved fifth brother. Um, but <laughs> since it's a mandatory thing, they have to do it anyways. Yeah. Then, well, we will see. Prox mines, huh, Lex? Prox mines. So the interceptors have to go towards the middle. Nash will be endangered by Boba, could try to go for a block. I mean, I think Boba and Fen are in super nice positions, so... though. Hmm. I mean, the safest place for Nash is probably being bumped with Boba. Yeah. yeah he could but he try. has to bump him correctly, because otherwise Boba will just boost over him. Will yep. uh, one heart for yellow work? To, to get right. on the cloud? Yes, for sure. To the right. <laughs> oh yeah, that I think that should work. And it's not uh, in the bomb, so. Yeah. yeah, but why? Well, the bomb is is going to happen. Yeah, but one heart you save there. What was that? He. I have no idea. Wounded pilot. Oh yeah, wounded pilot. Stress yeah, wounded for. Pilot. Wait. Stress for what? I mean, they didn't do action on that, right? Uh, I have no passive target lock. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, they did the passive sensors. So um, I like the position of Fen and Boba in this case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As you pointed out, Roger, the 
The Prox mine is going to be a headache for Lex for planning with his lovely little interceptors. They really don't like the Prox mines. Well, they actually don't like any mine, bomb, or whatever. Any damage is bad for them. You can do with the green one, the tree sloop to the right. Ah, no. Mm. It's, it's Shouldn't ooh. risk it. I, I mean, it's risky. It's very risky. Uh, probably. Neat? With which one? Yellow? Green. Green. Isn't that going through the wall? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I mean, yellow one blue. Like he, could do it. he could do it on the left side. Yeah, he could do that. But to the left, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that's the question. Is Lex going to sloop to the left here with yellow and blue, or is he going? Is he going to turn in? I think the thing is, he could consider turning around this turn when he has enough ships left. So it's, I mean, it's bad to be stressed with your whole squad and getting some shots, but at some points he probably has to do it. Yeah. Yeah, he has to, because Boba is able to fire out his back, which is, yeah, I'm not going to be enjoyable for the Interceptors. Yeah, yeah Boba will Katty take the three hard to the right. We right? remember that Wounded Pilot was on Fifth Brother. We were just kind of confused by the timing window they chose. Yeah. I mean, green and blue could do, the f could do a 4K. I mean, they could all do a 4K, right? Uh, green, no. He will land on the... Bump. Yeah, and green is, is probably not a good idea to go for the 4k. So, but the proxy mine is like, oh, it's I'm, huge. I'm, <laughs> it's really big. Is it big enough to hit him yeah. if he doesn't? Yeah, you land, on, you land on the proxy with the 4k or land just behind and have to now you, you fly over it. All right, all right. I think. Can you can use some bank proxies? No, you cannot use no. bank. No. No, no, he has to put him down straight, but... Um... Right, if you tell me he, he hits it, I'm, I'm going to trust you guys, but I think he could do the 4K. But... It, it's close, because if you look at the way the bases are... I mean, it's I, the proxy they base. Can move. You, land, than... you land on the... You will not fly over, but you will land on the proxy, I think. Is the proxy mine um, bigger than the medium base? A... That is the question. That is probably a question Rafi could answer. Because if it's not, you can safely do it. I think it's slightly bigger than the medium base, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Grab your templates, guys. I don't have a problem. Fifth brother will do it one hard to the right and passive, right? Oh, no. And no, can... no passive. <laughs> he can't do passive oh, with rounded. Because passive is an action, and then you get stressed maybe, and then you can't take your target look because you are stressed. Right? Yeah, this is like, for Lex, this is hard choices. Yeah, but fifth brother one heart to the right, it's quite obvious, I think. Uh, Fen Rao is probably going for the typical maneuver. Two bank? I mean, two bank or two heart. Yeah. If he goes for the two heart, um, Lex could try to block that That's with fifth brother. With yellow. The the problem there is even if he blocks Fen Rao, it's not gonna help him too much. Four mm -hmm. K with blue and the two two hard? Two hard from the green. And no proxy, by the way. <laughs> so a uh, prox mine trying to find Okay. And if Boba predicted this, he could do like. Proxima, it should. With the medium base, it, it could fit. It could have fit. I think. He didn't put down the prox? Nope. Didn't. Nope. Ah. The one heart and don't, don't passive. 
Now you have to roll, and when you get stressed, you can't take connection. I think they forgot the the wounded yeah. pilot. Once again. Even with the crit token? Even with the crit token. Probably has to be as big as passive sensor for him to remember. Now the question is, do you boost in with Fen? Uh, should we call a charge on yeah, that? I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Perfect, because that is quite important. Right, so he could kill red this turn and blue and yellow couldn't boost in because they're stressed. Which is... Um, Unlucky. But if he kills red, at least green can probably barrel roll over and get a shot on Fen with the target lock. Yeah, that's probably the way to do it here. If Nash dies. If Nash dies. If Nash dies. <laughs> so we see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Goes for it, yeah. He's not going to get shot right now, so decides to spend. And oh, Nettis! Oh, Nettis! Nash survives! Um, Easy! What I missed. Uh... Um, Nettis from Lex Nash, so no yeah. damage on Nash, even um, though Fen got three hits. Oh, okay, Popa had bombed. Into the fifth, brother. Yeah, I nice to finish the brother. But Popo has two rerolls, and he needs the two rerolls. He really needs the rerolls here. <laughs> For one. For one. Should be fine. Uh, oh, should yeah, four. Be barely is. Instead the force. So I wrote on the channel the judge, but... Yeah, yeah. We, we have to wait because yeah. the passives are not happening yet. It's just that is when they are going to happen, it's not he has passive to remember. Action, action passive sensor, is, is it an action? No, it's not happening yet. The action happens when um, Fifth Brother activates. It's just that they don't forget it. Is there a charge coming? Is there a charge now? No. 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 It's it doesn't matter yet, but we need to yeah. Let's see what happens. Let's have some faith. Uh still trying to kill Boa. But let me the the, uh, the passive sensor is an action. And then you will do another action at step of uh, engagement when you will activate. So that's two oh. actions. So you have to roll for the first. Yeah, it's, it's true. So he can. That is like, you can only perform this action. So it is actually an action. Yeah, huh? it's, it's it's called action on spend one charge. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's, you it's have, you have to roll action. first, and then maybe he can't do an action now because he's stressed. Yeah, so we need to charge, even though. Yeah. Crap. So that is always kind of annoying. But yeah, we see he took the target lock on Fen Rao anyway, so it's not going to matter right now. Mm -hmm. Two hits. Man, the red dies for Team Switzerland. They just won't stop. <laughs> Doing good. Two rerolls. Oh, that is that. That's it. Good enough. I mean, that was was fine. Yeah, the target lock on Fen Rao didn't matter. Well, doesn't matter now. Yeah. So uh, we'll 
I mean, will it charge combo or not? I don't paint on the channel though. <laughs> when one it's is getting late, it's getting very late for a charge here. No, there's no charge. Yeah, because the then they would have to roll back and all that stuff. There's only one charge. And we're but not allowed not... to contact them, yeah. which is always oh. Yeah, we have to go on with that. Yeah, we well... did what we can do, and then. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it's, it's not going to matter. It's, it's, yeah. that crit. it's it's bad, but. Um, don't think it was any intentional missing there. So I don't think so, no, because I mean we we had to briefly look it up as well that it's two actions and this is something that is really. Yeah, and I really think a lot of people that play a lot of X Wing can uh, kind of relate with that for getting a crit or something. That's something I miss very often. For example, and then I, I I'm like okay next time I should really put down these crit tokens, but <laughs> crit so I don't have. <laughs> I mean, even if you, I mean, in this case, they even remembered it, but they just didn't remember that it triggers like twice. Yeah, this but is, it's, it's kind of special. I mean, the combination of, of that crit and that passives is, is really special. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, the crit rolling off the reaction is not that uh, special, but it's still um, something that. Just ask, there was no. And I mean, this run, series right? has or... been very friendly. So it's not that bad, and uh, no one is gonna kill each other over that mistake. And both yeah. players will enjoy the game nonetheless. It's just a slight, tiny little hiccup. So let's get back to maneuvers. What um, are we going to? Let me, just to be sure, there's no damage this round, right? No. Okay. No damage. No. Speak to team captain. Yeah, the problem is is. Do we have the, the Mexican team captain available? Because our team captain is probably not here. But it's so nice we didn't get any damage this turn because Lex has now a lot better of a position again. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, Lex's position is better, but still has to keep in mind the prox mine could happen now. So Nash has to be very cautious. No 4K with Nash this time, probably. Prox mines. Mm. I mean, blue and yellow are in a nice position. They can just too straightforward. Green could go for another block on Boba, but Nash could try to just bump into Boba and trying to keep him there. Yeah, that was I was thinking, but I don't think Boba will bump you there, to be honest. Um, don't forget that Fenra moves after Boba, so Boba's options are severely limited. That is true. So if you use Green and Nash, as blocking pieces. I mean, Rafi is not here. Yeah. He could also use the Inquisitor if he wants to. Is the Mexican captain online? Is one if anybody checked for that? You're still hoping a judge is going to jump in here? No, yeah. because we. <laughs> the the, the talk should be there. In, front. in Peru, Hungary, Sweden. Uh... Which is the, oh, wait, uh, the Mexican four. captain? All right, that's the proxy mine. Now we can check the size of the proxy mine. It is. It's it is slightly, wider than the mean. Slightly bigger. Yeah. It is. I think it would have been close in the last turn. Yeah. <clears throat> I wouldn't yeah. find out that so. Yeah, coaches can, but the problem is the Swiss coach is not online, and as far as I can see. The Mexican captain isn't online either. <laughs> yeah. Right, so he did get two straight, the predicted two straight with blue and yellow. Now, the, the Baron, the fifth brother, is turning in. So Boba can't, I mean, could Boba one hard and boost? I mean, that depends on what Green is doing now. If Green is also turning in, 
Oh yeah, green green will turn in. Sorry, I forgot that guy's still moving. Uh, no stress there. I mean, green is probably turning in as well, and then Boba hasn't got a lot of options. There we go. So Boba, um, the four straight will probably not fit. No, I think the only thing he can do right now is a two bank. And even then, I think he bombs. With a two oh, bank? You mean to the left? Yeah, yeah, two, two bank left and then boost or something like that. Brings him out. Out. And Fenra will bump too. Oh. Is it range oh. one? Yeah, I think it's range to one to the fifth brother. That to fifth brother. Mm, yeah, I think so. It's going to be close. Yeah, this is safe range one. So bump yeah. and bump. Nash is safe. <laughs> Nash is super safe. And, and now the problem is that lock on on Fen Rao suddenly matters. Yeah. And this is where we... Oh, man. I don't like this. Yeah. We, we have no captains we can contact. The no. judges don't react, so... Uh... Gets the netties there. Gets the netties. Yeah, I think um, the dice, the green dice of the interceptors have held quite well. And Boba now, if you kill something, you're so dead, buddy. That's the question now. Do you try to kill a fifth brother? I hope I mean, that the lock, the, 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 the lock is still matter. there. The lock maybe shouldn't be there from fifth brother on Fenrau, but it's there. So... Oh, he tries to kill the fifth brother? You try to kill him? Oh, he's thinking about it. He's really thinking about it. I mean, it's three red dice. But you could kill green. green with an evade. Sorry. For the but you don't want to kill anything this turn. You never want to kill anything with that list. Yeah, sure. He the the kill he got uh, the kill he would have gotten on the Baron. That would have been nice. But this time is very bad to kill something. Very, very, very bad because yellow and blue can go range one with target lock on Boba. Yeah, they do. And the proxies out, right? So. And and green gets a target lock on Fen. Ooh. Oh, and red could barrel roll and then yes. get a shot on Boba as well, probably. It's it's very painful. It's a very painful decision. He goes, he goes for it. Brother. When he kills his brother, mm -hmm. the the lock doesn't matter. At all. That would be the good thing. <laughs> it's not getting removed until um, it get because of Nash. Ah, oh, yeah, right. We have shit. We have Nash on the table. Well, it's two hit crit. Three green dice with an evade, so he would need to see. Yeah. Uh, I get the netties again, boy. And now suddenly that, that target lock matters. Yeah, but... We can't change it? Yeah, and... Maybe it matters to see if he needs it or not. That's error uh, from the players, and... Let's hope uh, yeah. Lex just rolls netties, and then, then it's not gonna matter. Yeah. Totally unbiased here. Um, three hits from yellow into Boba. Uh, Rerolls for Boba. The pain is coming here. And one, so two hits into Boba. Half point. Oof. Yeah, I mean, these bumps um, of Fen and Boba, they could be the, the nail in the coffin here. And he's range one. They could hurt you really bad. I think the two soft with Boba would have been the, the smart decision there, but I mean, it's hard to call. Yeah, but bumping both is um, very, very risky. I mean, yeah. And um, a Fenral with no modifications. Yeah. I mean yeah. Fabian is right. It gets too complicated soon to fix this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And hit, hit, crit into Boba. Crit will go through. Oh. Two blanks again. <laughs> and hit, crit. Hit, crit. Crit is. Oh. 
Sun pilot. Yeah, that Boba is looking quite um, damaged and is now very predictable. That's green into Fenrau. And Ooh. I mean, he's on two hulls. There we go. Oof. Four, Oof. Three. three hits and a crit into Fenrau. This go gets green. more go and green. more beer. Green. More and more yeah. beer is owed to the Mexicans. Boom. Only the crit will go through. Oh, yeah, but a crit green. on Fen. Yeah, can be directed. Directed Fen half. So we have half Ooh. Fen and half Boba. Boba is on two. Uh, no. As a hull upgrade, hasn't he? Yes, he Three does. Up. So three lives <laughs> left on Boba, two on Fen. Five hulls left on the board for Scum. Uh, and on the other side, only four damage taken. So now the, the shot, which makes our life a little complicated. Does he go for target. Fen? I guess he does go for Fen here, right? With the target lock, he, he will go. He's not sure. Still deciding. What would you guys shoot on? Fen. Uh, no, no, Boba. I mean, with the target lock, he has... Um... Oh, he goes for Boba. Yeah. Yeah, of course, that is. <laughs> Actually, oh. that's good because um, oh. Oh. the target lock still doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the Boba rerolls were actually really bad in this game, in attack and defense until now. Yeah. And no. Once again, one. he rerolled into so many blanks. Mm -hmm. Boba is now down to two hulls. Yeah. Has to fly straight or he's down to one hull. So. No, he no, did no. get some uh, evades from the reroll, so it was like super horrible. Uh, he's stunt pilot. He can, doesn't uh, can uh, move to ob obstacles. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah, I see. Stunt pilot, not the other one. Yeah, but still, <laughs> I mean, Boba's options are very limited. He's very easy to bump here once again. I mean, with a two bank <laughs> here on green. You block a lot of Boba's options. Yeah, and with, I guess with blue and yellow, you can stop him from turning in. The good thing is we, we've seen a lot of Natty's roll, so that, that stupid target lock didn't matter until now. He didn't even shoot at um, Fen, so up to now, the the Natty's helped us that the uh, the mistake both players made with that crit just didn't come into play. Yep. It's one way of solving a problem. <laughs> so what will we see here? The the problem for Fen and Boba is both of them are right in there. Mm -hmm. Easy to block with very few options. So I mean Boba. Are you gambling on them trying to block your straight maneuvers? So you try to go for the heart? And even if you do, I mean, where is Fen going? I mean, you, as, you, you block the escape path from Fen with that bomb, so... Yeah. Fen is now... I mean... He could go for the free bank. The thing is, like, if Green tries to like block the, the fast maneuvers on Boba and Blue and Yellow try to catch up, you could go for a one hard with Boba and hopefully you get some good blocks so they can't shoot you and you maybe get a shot on one. That's something he could try. And it's probably something he has to try because if he's going just straight down the board, Probably not going to help him. No, not at all. And if he gets the good blocks and maybe can escape through that asteroid field, dropping the other bombs, maybe he can do something. But that's the only way I see right now. Yeah, probably go for the one hard. Yeah. Then maybe go for the... This is going to be bomb hell. <laughs> 
And bomb hell is actually an advantage for Lex. Because as soon as something dies on the Empire side, uh, we're going to see uh, barrel rolls and all that jazz. By the way, until now, nothing has died on Lex's side. I mean, Fifth Brother is on two fours and one hull. The green one has the hull breach, but otherwise um, unscathed. I'm super confused by that wounded pilot card being on, on blues upgrades. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, but maybe that did, did confuse them as well. No, the crit is on. So we see the block move of green. I if Robot tries anything. to go straight. It's so long ago that crit, even if you wouldn't remove the target lock now, it would still be a big influence like how player moved and what they did. Yeah. Well, so. the good thing about um, playing online is that in theory, you could rewind all of this. You could. That is true. Yeah, that is true. Hey, guys, you're ready for another 40 minutes of game. <laughs> <laughs> but until now, I mean, if Boba went for that um, one heart that looks juicy right now we will see what blue and yellow are doing so now he has to roll it won't hard to be honest yep. because he's flying that list very nice so far except for the bump he did before the other maneuver is very nice yes the bombs were harsh yeah bombs were harsh especially with a two ship list ah there goes the one heart the one heart is getting juicy man <laughs> If you want hard, I mean, will it hard and yellow. Oh, now it's it's it could fit. Three bank. I don't think it fits, it's but oh, three bank. Oh, that's good too. That is good too. On one hand, it is not the other. It isn't because now, I mean, he can shoot green, but if he does, Boba dies. Yeah, he has to boost prop. Oh, he goes really... for the reinforce is an option i mean the problem is the reinforce yeah all of them are in the back so that works and when he will survive if green ooh, and you don't once shoot again, that green this time you will shoot oh uh, the target lock is going to matter nonetheless crap <laughs> yeah but... maybe if he needs the rerolls again if he needs reels. Lex, just roll Natties. I'll roll nothing into nothing. That would be fine as well. You will go here to into now, the red. Ben couldn't like disengage here because he was scared of getting the homing missiles he shouldn't be scared of right now and stuff like that. So just uh, let's play with uh, that crit is not existing anymore. Um, Boba should go into Nash. Really? Yeah, and hope he will survive then he co uh, drop the proxy and green will probably die on the proxy. There's two yeah, shots I mean, coming. But I think Nash is Nash is barely at range two, uh, which is a pity. Uh, Nash is at range, at range two. two, yeah. But he goes into Nash. He goes for Nash. Yeah, it's the right choice yeah. here. He has the juicy green target, but if he does, then Boba dies anyways. Yeah. I mean, Boba is probably going to die. So, got hit and focus. Rerolls. Into blank blank. Come Still on, these Boba rerolls, they add insult to injury. They were really bad this game. This is like the first order game all over again with the dice. Will we see Boba die now? Yeah, I think Boba should have boosted there still. Because if he boosted, he just gets shot by blue. It's a on it's a just single modded range it's two true. shot. And hit crit. You can get still one reroll from the Baron, crit. I think. Um, yeah. So Boba with rerolls, can he evade those? Um, yeah, he yes can. he can. Finally. Finally, some. Oh yeah, shouldn't Boba be stressed with the reinforce? Yeah. 
both players and their stress mechanics today are a little um, iffy. Now it's blue shot. Oh. Yeah, oh, for no. one. And he's safe. Boba makes it there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Boba should be stressed, so uh, this kind of evens out with the lovely stress on... Um... Nah, not really. Not really, but... Uh... I mean, this target lock influenced like five turns or something. Ooh. Oh, oh. Lex rolls Nettis. Target lock still doesn't matter. <laughs> no and problem no. for Ben. Yeah, Fern survives, <laughs> so the target... <laughs> As I said, they are not willing to die. The problem is now that target lock still could matter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fen can't disengage because of that target lock. We really need one of those guys to die so the target lock doesn't matter. But the Boba rerolls today... atrocious. I'm still saying they're not that bad. They're not that bad over the game. Until now? Yeah. Ooh, I think they were pretty bad. I don't think so. He had like multiple times when you reroll two dice, you get the weight out of it, got doubly weight before. He got almost all the time, he gets that one singly weight. Just the early, the first throws were kind of bad. Yeah, but, but if not, you think. Not um, super bad. He just never had any modifiers except for the rerolls. Yeah, but if you look at the, the starting roll, which were most of the time really bad, and then the rerolls, and you get one evade, then you're still below what you should have rolled. On the two dice, yeah. I mean, I'm still, I'm still fine with the one evade. I'm not like you can't like go all the times for the two evades, like if you calc it through. So I think it wasn't too bad. It maybe a little bit. A it, little it's still bad. below oh, what now, you should have now rolled. There's a judge in the. Oh, we yeah, got a judge now. I mean, yeah, we no. have. Uh, it. Yeah, I mean, Boba Did should have be to do it now? We we should be rolling back like no, four turns. No, 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 it's it's too late. It's too late. That's way it's too Boba late. should be stressed. Yeah, I wrote that too into channel, right? So, but now Boba will get the stress. I mean, and yeah. The oh, that would be cool. feel so bad. It feels very rough. I mean, still he needs to get that stress, but it feels very bad. I think they should remove the target lock as well. Yeah. Yeah, that would Absolutely. be fair. Now. Let's look what they decide with the judge. Yeah, I mean, removing the target lock, putting the stress on Boba, that, then it's okay. It's at least something, yeah. It's hard to get a fair, fair decision here anyways. Yeah. But just getting the stress on the Boba now, that feels like, that feels yeah, wrong. Yeah, that would be, no, it don't do that. Wrong. Please, judge, don't <laughs> do that. I mean, we're actually all Swiss guys, but here we're like, kind of rooting a little bit for the Mexicans. Yeah, because, oh... Uh, the series was so nice. The games were all so cool. The guys were really cool mm. guys. We enjoyed playing them. And that would be such an annoying end to the, the series if that would happen. Come on, take away the target lock, please. No, the Filippo wrote in the chat, it's all good now. Oh. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. We can't change it. Yeah. Mistakes but, uh, happen. I think we just put another can of beer on top of what we're owing to the Mexicans <laughs> anyway. So Next brewery. We should set up a whole brewery, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they can have Feldschlösschen. Yeah. Nobody's going to shed a tear over that. <laughs> <laughs> but now, it's green should fun. die with the proxy, right? Um... Maybe, should, yeah. Is Ash even under the proxy? He can choose which one. Right? Yeah, and that's the question. Are you going for green or do you say, fuck it, I try to be lucky on Nash because I, I'm already down to four hulls? Yeah. <laughs> we will see. I mean, it, this game is not easy for him to win anyways anymore because um, he's down to four hulls, two on Fen, two on Boba. Hope for Prox landing on Nash and trying to direct it Nash. 
yeah, that's one way to do it. It's not. I mean, you still give them some repositioning and mods if you do that. So let's see what Lex can get out of it. But I mean, nice. killing killing the green one for mods or killing Nash for mods is quite a difference. Yeah. And now that Boba is stressed. Um, oh, but if he can, the thing is, if he can kill Nash now with the proxy. He yeah. can then PS kill something during exactly. the engagement phase, yeah. so that would be huge. So here's the last proxy. That was the wrong token, yeah. Um, For a short moment, I thought, why is uh, Boba trying to cloak? <laughs> and yeah, he, oh, only Nash oh, will hit. I can't choose. It goes on Nash. So <laughs> one damage of sure, and then rolls two dice. That's that target target now that could be huge. That could be huge. I think it would be okay if it would happen, to be honest, with that target lock and all that stuff. It would be nice for the Mexicans to, okay, get anything but that. <laughs> oh. Not even uh, oh, uh, rough. The dice is always rough. good, and then, no. Not, no. Not, not that time. Or like, there's a small little hope, uh, gets crushed. Uh. He bumped, right? Into Finn. Yeah, the big play didn't happen. So now Boba, where is Boba going? That stress is super bad. <laughs> that stress is super bad. And especially with that now. Oh. I mean, if you bump here, is that so bad? Come on, Lex, just repair that crit. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nope. Repair the crit. Oh. 